Ah, welcome back. Are you ready to play some creative games? Good. Come on up here and let's get started. And while they're doing that, they're going to run all the games that you need to play along with today's video. Come on up here and I'll show you what we got going on. So right here, we have the old pre-primed, double-stretched 4K monitor. And I've covered that in a thin, thin coat of liquid black. And it's all wet and slick and it's ready to go. So I thought today we'd just do a happy little painting of Archeon ever chosen Lord of the End Times. So I'm just gonna get the old Pro Wireless mouse, a little bit of mouse pad black, just old mouse pad black. Matt, what are you doing? Those aren't creative, they're just all the Warhammer games. We, we don't make mistakes, we just have happy accidents. Wait, did you paint my monitor again? Games spark creativity perhaps more than any other medium. Giant teams of people work together to create moving masterpieces, incorporating concept artists, 3D modelers, musicians, writers, and level designers. But few games put this creative focus back on the player. So in this video, we thought we'd take a look at the titles that put you in front of the metaphorical canvas. So whether you've always fancied trying art but you've never had the self-confidence, or you're a talented creative who just can't be bothered to clean their brushes, these are the games that put the PC in Picasso, and without them, it would sound like a Scottish insult. Yes, yes it would. Here are seven chilled games to bring out your inner artist. Let's begin with something new. East Shade is a gorgeous, genteel adventure game from the creators of Leaving Lindo. In it, you explore a world of wafting grass, waving trees, and exceedingly chipper animal face locals. There's nothing like a good book on a day such as this. You take snapshots of the landscape to turn into paintings, which you can then sell. There's no fighting, no murder, and nothing more threatening than running out of canvas or forgetting the rule of thirds. Yeah, nobody's buying that. And while the landscape is all achingly beautiful, it does take a while to get over the fact that half the people you speak to look like chimps. Unless, you know, you're already used to that. East Shade gets extra points from me for starting a bit like Morrowind in the hold of a mysterious ship. An analogy strengthened by the fact that all the inhabitants have animal heads like Khajiit and Argonians. But honestly, that's where the similarity ends. There are no giant rats or cliff racers here. Poor framing is really your only enemy. And while you don't physically paint the pictures, you'll still need to have a strong eye for composition. It's a deeply relaxing, unusual experience, and in a very artistic way, it's the inspiration for this list. Did you ever want to go to art school? No, all I've ever wanted to do is to start my own side-scrolling beat-em-up. Right, well, that doesn't help me crowbar my lead into this game at all, but I'll press on regardless. Welcome to art school. If you've ever wondered what it would actually be like to go to art school, to be surrounded by stylish, effortless creative types and drink really good coffee while having brilliant thoughts, art school won't really give you any of that. What it does give you, though, is a strange, colourful world to explore with no one but a disturbing looking donut AI to judge your drawings. Oh, and word to the wise, don't draw the first thing you see. It's actually a collectible. It was a very, very good drawing of a collectible, though. Oh, really good. Oh, great. You're a terrible liar. Not only does Art School have a musical number to start it off, you then wander around an area that looks like it's fallen out of an artist's nightmare, seeking inspiration from giant pink cats. Then you're asked to draw what it would look like if your friends had babies, or maybe a map of the area you're standing in, and only then do you have your psychedelic donut tutor hand you a score and rate your lines and, oh yes, approach. Oh yeah, that's totally an A. You're so much better at lying than Matt. Think of some odd combinations that just work. Peanut butter and jam, salt and caramel. Louise and me on a YouTube video. No one could have seen a twin stick shooter working with an abstract painting simulator, but you know, here we are. Splatter Shmup is exactly what it sounds like. A game where you get to blast lasers, but also pretend that you're Jackson Pollock. There's no time to think about what to draw first in this free browser game. Survival is at the top of your priority list as you dodge enemy fire. Paint is constantly pouring from your ship, meaning your desperate fight for life becomes endless scrolls and loops. 
I say your, I obviously mean Louise's, as that's who's controlling this particular um, masterpiece. <clears throat> I'm right here. Once you've chosen your favourite colours of paint and managed to unlock more hues as you survive each wave, which is trickier than you might imagine, you can even save your art to your PC so you can set it as your desktop background and ponder your existence. I call this one art number three because it's the third one I did. You can check out how your shooting skills look in art form in the link in the description. We're used to games looking amazing. We've done a video on the best 4K games on PC that's like a cocktail party for your eyes. But occasionally, a game like Akami comes along that makes all the other games look like Louise's art in Splattershmup. Hey! The HD version of Akami came out in 2017, which is good because it looks better than ever, and bad because your brain remembers it looking this nice when it was originally released back in 2006. It's kind of like the opposite of Matt, who looks even worse now than he did in 2006 and will continue to decay like an avocado in the bottom of a forgotten school bag. Wow, you really did take that splattershmup comment to heart, didn't you? It's called Art 3. Admittedly, the Sumie art elements of the game play second fiddle to some wonderful platforming, but it almost doesn't matter when the game itself looks this good. Scrolls, temples and cherry blossoms have rarely looked this sharp. There's just something deeply satisfying about that rich, ink-on-paper art style that makes you want to stop and frame every moment. Gorgeous. So this one diverges slightly from the more traditional approaches to art we've featured so far in this video, but it's no less deserving. And in fact, Minecraft shows us a type of creativity that only exists in video games. Tactile, thoughtful, in-world imagineering that encourages players to create on a scale that would be impossible in real life. The next time someone tells you games aren't art, show them a Taj Mahal that's been built in Minecraft by a nine-year-old. And this wouldn't be a Minecraft feature unless we mention that yes, of course there are mods that let you add traditional art to the game. Sculpting, painting and pixel art elements can all be added, meaning that you can scan in a real painting to build in Minecraft and then paint it in the game. And I have no idea what's real anymore. So despite its age, the level of creativity in Minecraft is off the scale. If it exists, it's been built in this game. Landmarks, art galleries, famous spaceships. Some people might look at the hours, days and weeks that people spent building brilliant things in Minecraft and wonder what was the point. But creativity is the point, and that's true of all art, even maths. I call this one the uh, penguin zone. But there aren't any penguins. Yes. The Penguin Zone. Scribblenauts Unlimited might not have you physically drawing the items that appear in its crisp, cartoony world, but it still requires that you use your imagination. So you might not have sketched that glistening flying pig from scratch, but it's your beautiful brain that helped it become a porky reality. And that does sound nice until you realise that power also lets you become a circus summoning clown mancer. Coolrophobes, beware. And if you do happen to be coolrophobic and you manage to get through that last section, definitely don't click the link to watch our video about titles to avoid if you have phobias, which in my case would just be a game about teeth. Teeth, you say? Okay. Cool. Scribblenauts creativity isn't just a gimmick either. One moment you're healing kittens with magic medicine, the next you're cleaning giant teeth. Are those teeth? Matthew? Fangs for the memories, Louise. Yeah. <laughs> Being an artist isn't just about creating masterpieces. It's about failure and criticism and all-consuming self-loathing. And in that respect, Papartout, the starving artist, shows us the darker side of creativity as you bash out rubbish paintings in the game's MS Paint-alike drawing tool so you can keep yourself stocked up on baguettes and wine which is something that we can all relate to. It's a wonderfully odd idea, the sort of game that conceptually sounds as likely as Matt inviting you back to his gallery to show you his etchings. Hey, I have etchings. I etch, I'm an etcher. Wait, wait, no, sorry, I'm thinking of uh, Warhammer the Little, little Men. 
And maybe it's not the place to show off my dry brushing skills, but Papa 2 is still lovely. The puppet theatre presentation is weird and wonderful, and assuming you can navigate the increasingly rude connoisseurs, all with their subjective takes on what constitutes art, you can progress from starving street artist to starving gallery artist. Which, as we all know, is what any aspiring painter would want. Papartout might sound bleak, but that's not necessarily a bad thing. As any troubled painter knows, it's impossible to create great art when you're happy. Which is my excuse for tormenting Matt. Well, it looks like the old clock on the wall tells us we're out of time. But if you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and subscribe to Logitech G because everybody needs a friend. And if you are already subscribed, go ahead and beat the devil out of that notification bell so you know when our next video goes live. Happy gaming and chaos gods bless my friend.